Okay, here in round one, we have the choice. Let's play first. Oh, yeah. We're going to keep that all right. Great hand. Solid turn progression. I think we're probably playing the Spear Point Oread. Yeah. I mean, theoretically, we could wait until we can play the Champ and then eventually get to the Spear Point Oread. But I think since we have the Titan Strength, I'd rather just opt for him now. Sylvan Carrioted, okay. All right. We're going to attack with the Oread, see if he blocks. He doesn't, good. So we're going to deal two to him, and then I think we're actually going to drop the Minotaur. Because next turn, I can play the champ plus Titan Strength it if I want to kill something. Um... Or Titan Strength my Arena Athlete and make it so this guy can't block. Either of those options seem really good. Or I can just play it patient. Uh-oh, Bow of Nylia. All right, well, that card's really strong. All right, so he can currently put plus one. I'm actually really surprised he attacks there. I'm not sure I agree with that. All right, so he still can use Bow of Nylia, which means he can put a plus one, plus one counter on a creature. He can also gain three life, deal some damage to stuff. Seder, Hedonist. Well, he doesn't want to use his counter this turn. Interestingly. Okay, so options here. I can Titan Strength my Athlete, Hedonist Can't Block, we'll get in for 5, 7, 11 damage, follow up with Labyrinth Champ. I like that. I mean, that's huge. It's really swingy. I mean, alternatively, I can play Labyrinth Champ and Titan Strength that kill something, kill the Hedonist and get in, which isn't bad either, but we miss out on some damage that I think I want, so I'm actually going to Titan Strength now. Let's scry and check things out. Bottom that. Get in for a bunch. Drop Champ, and pass. Now if we get either Dauntless Onslaught or uh, Coordinated Assault, could probably get close to finishing him off here.
Once again, very surprised he attacked with Leaf Crown Dryad. Kind of curious about that. Okay, so he does have the Bow of Nylia, which I have to be concerned about. That was a bad draw, so I'm kind of getting punished for playing 17 lands currently, which is not good. But um, I can play the Crusader. If I swing with the Minotaur, he trades a Hedonist for my Minotaur, but at least I get rid of the Bow of Nylia. I don't really like that all that much. Let's play the Crusader and... Fake like we have something. And pass. Alright, gaining life instead of pumping his guys. So that's good. No attacks. No plays. Alright. Land there was terrible. Just definitely getting punished for playing 17 lands. Ran out of gas way before I found enough targeted uh, stuff for Heroic. Um, Ray of Dissolution is coming in to take care of Bow of Nylia, as well as Leaf Crown Dryads. I'll have to check out if I got any more uh, enchantment removal. I don't think I picked up any priests. So, even with the Scry, I've seen two more lands in a row. So, I've seen ten lands this game already. Not good. Or eight lands, I mean. Okay, just chilling, gaining a bunch of life while we don't do anything. Yep, that was terrible. So, still can't do anything. So, I guess we're going to sit here. Alright, starting to pump his guys. Which makes sense. Wish I could do something about it. But I can't. Needed to see just a little bit more gas than we would have gotten there, but unfortunately, seeing just a bunch of duds. He can, in fact, make that unblockable, which is a big deal. Still not attacking wisely, I would think. We just need non-land cards. There's a Titan Strength. Unfortunately, pretty late. Pretty late. At this juncture. Um, hmm. Still has the pump. Um, he's got a grip full of cards. I've got no way to comfortably get in. I swing with everything. He blocks whatever he wants to kill and effectively kills it. Yeah, I, I despise how this game's going, actually. how What the hell do I do here? Um, do I attack? Does that do anything for me if I attack? Potentially getting in with Titan Strength. I feel like I have a lot to lose. Just a ton of stuff to lose. I'm trying to think how good his blocks are, because he has this 3-3, three, three, plus he has this pump effect on Bow of Nylia. So he's essentially got two 3-3s, three, or a 4-4. Four, four, Two three threes probably makes more sense. He can take out my first strike guy. 
But I guess I can kill in response whatever he's pumping with the... Do I have to attack here? I'm really curious. I think I'm, I'm going to. He's just got too many cards, and I feel like I'm just not doing anything. I actually don't know how good his blocks are yet. So I guess we'll figure it out. See, the, the problem is, when he's just got a grip full of cards like that, I, I really i am unsure what I'm supposed to be doing here. Because he's just getting value if I'm not attacking. He's getting value if I'm, you know, trying to sit around and outvalue him. It's just not going to work when he's got a bow of Nylia. There's just, I, there's no way to, to, to beat this in the long game. His guys are just going to get absolutely ginormously big. Hmm. Well, this doesn't seem terrible for us. Okay, so that's how he's finally blocking. Can take care of his Sylvan Caryatid. No, we can take care of this Leaf Crown Dryad. We can take care of this. We're going to take care of this Leaf Crown Dryad. He can pump Agent of Horizons. All right, I think we, we Titan Strength the Champ. And we kill this Dryad because even if he pumps it, it's going to die anyway. We're going to lose almost everything for this, but uh, like I said, the long game with Bow of Nylia is almost unbeatable. I, I really, I, I have no idea how you would ever do that. Just every turn, let him either draw three or make his guys bigger. It's just, it's too detrimental to us. Yeah, that actually doesn't matter in the least, because we're going to deal two damage to it and it's still going to die. <laughs> more land on the way all right well i i think i'm probably going to opt into 16 lands i think the deck is trying to tell me something all right obviously not ideal for us but i i really don't know uh what sitting there was doing for me either Besides gaining him three life every turn or making his guys bigger. Alright, he's going to get the lands he needs next turn. Because he's going to pump it. Still get to draw though. Right? Oh, oh, he destroyed our guy in response. Well, that makes a lot more sense. All right. T uh, terribly detrimental for us, but like I said, we've been drawing lands the entire game. Um, we had a good beginning, but just lands for the rest of the game has is, is not been doing much of anything. It's been actually doing a lot of nothing. It's been sitting back and watching our opponent get value off of his legendary enchantment every turn. <laughs> so it's been pretty bad for us. Uh, had an uh, just had an amazing start too, and all it took was just just two or three turns of drawn lands to put everything to shit right away. So kind of sucks.
Um, yeah, it's gonna be game. I don't. We. It was game even if he didn't have that. So, it's definitely game now. Yeah. Is it even worth showing him? No. We're gonna die. Just make him kill us and be done with it, and then we'll figure out a sideboard to deal with it. I feel like uh, if we'd just seen two or three more turns of gas, maybe just two turns of gas, maybe even one turn of gas, like a Dauntless Onslaught on the right turn, he would have been he would have been absolutely dead. Um, so I'm going to cut a land, sadly. I, I don't want to cut a land, but I think we have to. Um, that game is, is definitely telling us cut a land. He's running red. I could run Peak Eruption, which isn't bad. But we need to bring in the Array of Dissolution. Yeah, I want to, you need to have the out for that stupid, stupid bow. Do I want the peak eruption? Or wait. I mean, he's... Yeah, I mean... It's like a three damage nuke and destroy a land. It can be good. What am I taking out for it? That's the really tough part here. Could drop a verdict for it. Because it seemed like all of his guys are little. I'm going to swap a verdict for a peak eruption. Might be wrong. We didn't see a ton of creatures out of his deck. But the problem is we really can't cut any creatures. We're at 15, which is bare minimum for aggro decks, in my opinion. And uh, we just really need to consistently be dropping creatures. And then these can help us clean up, maybe punish him. We'll see. Trying it again. We'll play first. Um, bunch of white spells. We do have a two drop. Now I can't remember if I cut. Pretty sure I cut a white source, didn't I? So I have six white sources with three white spells in hand. How, much, how punished am I going to get? First, I'm going to look at how many red spells I could potentially draw and play with three mountains. So currently, I have one pure red spell, which means I could draw one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I can draw eleven spells that are not lands that I can still play. I think we got to keep it. White source would have put this uh, hand right over the top, I think, but no white source, and we could be in serious trouble. Still worthy of a keep, in my opinion. Pulse Crusher. All right. Um. Yeah, it's a tough spot. Hmm. 
That was pretty good. Still going for the race. So this is a pretty good opportunity to do a Titan Strength on our Crusader and get another attacker. That was a bad draw. All right. Let's see if we've got a white source on top or something relevant. Nope. Going to the bottom. Going to swing. Really, really, really need a white source here. If we don't see it, it's a sad way to lose. But it probably is going to happen. Uh, coordinated assault, maybe? No, it doesn't really do enough either. So he's got a pumped dude now. How much am I going to get punished for this? Well, I don't have any enchantments, so I guess that's good news. And the emissary is the emissary is unfortunately going to be killed. Terrible draw. Um, doesn't do anything for me. Um, I don't even have a comfortable attack here. Um, I think I actually have to attack with everything and fake like I have something. I have no choice. Um, I, I, I'm going to lose if I sit back is just the bottom line. I really, I really wish we had a, a white source here. The fact that we don't is, is terribly depressing. Yeah, so he's going to eat our crusader, exactly what I didn't want to happen. I was hoping he was going to play around something. He didn't, so correctly he's going to eat our guy, um, which sucks once again, can't do anything about it. Haven't seen a white source all game. Now I'm getting punished for cutting that white source, so pretty frustrating. Uh, yep. Can't attack anymore. Yep, that's going to be game, guys. I could seed now, but I guess we'll play it out. For shits and giggles. Hey, white source! Look at that! Perfect timing. Oh, wait. No, it's not. Well, it's got one card left. Hopefully, it's not a bow of Nylea, right? Then I can just uh, play this and gain some life next turn. If he doesn't have a pump spell or a removal spell. Well, there goes that plan. Should have attacked with that too since I'm forced to block here. Doesn't matter.
didn't attack again with that? That doesn't make any sense. Well, he's drawn too much goodness, and we're absolutely doing nothing, so... It is officially game now. Um, yeah, mana flood and a mana screw. I don't <laughs> Hope you guys li like that. <laughs> it's okay. I actually feel good. I get to go back to Swiss. I like Swiss so much more than these things anyway. Yep, yes sir. And look at that. You got there. Alright. Uh, I'll see you guys next time.